Welcome to another Cobra Thorn video. This is the end of tour of the 2023 Hyundai Palisade. This is a facelift model, so there's some slight changes that's happened for the current model year. And um, in this video, I'll give you a full walk around this car, show the exterior, the interior, a couple interesting features of the car, and so on. Let's get straight into it. Towards the front, you've got the split headlight design, as you can see. You can see the top portion here, you've got some really nice chrome all around here. And the lower portion, you can see you've got your full LED headlights. If we go a little bit closer, you can actually see that's got this really nice sort of pin and black finish towards the inside there and some chrome it's around each individual bulb and I'll just go a little bit closer you can see you got it says here you can see the Hyundai's LED system full LED system even up close you can see you got this interesting pattern inside each of the bulbs there which I thought looked quite nice now I did mention this is the um, the facelift version so there's some slight changes so you can see the front end looks actually revised so before, if you remember the chrome here, well, the aluminium finish was more curved. Here it's more angular. It's got more of a sharper look to it, you can see. Even the shape of the lights also have slightly changed as opposed to being curved, they're more squared off. You can see even the grill here also looks a little bit different. Now I'll just step over here, you can actually see. Also you got some more aluminium towards the lower portion there, which I thought looks pretty cool. I think this was actually a good decision, so it looks a little bit more better. And I'm pretty sure on the previous one, these were actually all LEDs and they've sort of like blocked them out and just continued the LED light along there. So I thought it was quite interesting. You can see the front portion there, you can see you got your houses, your um, adaptive cruise control sensor. And if I go a little bit closer, you can see you got some more piano black trim there, which I thought looked pretty nice. 360 cameras on the here and the front over there too. We'll get a close look at these headlights. Nice. So the fuel consumption of this car is 7.3 litres per 100 kilometres, um, urban 9.2, extra-urban 6.2. This is a 2.2 automatic diesel. And in case you're wondering, the Palisade is made in the United States. It's quite interesting. You can see you've got these interesting sort of side indicators mounted to the side of your mirrors and some more gloss black and your surrounding cameras. So I show your wheels here. Pretty cool. I switched the wide-angle lens; you can see a bit better. So in terms of tires, they're Bridgestone tires, Bridgestone Duala HP Sport AS tires. In terms of tire size, they are a 20-inch tire, which is actually quite surprising because you can see quite a thick sidewall there, and you can see inside you can see your suspension and all that there. Pretty interesting, and you can see you've got this different style of wheels. Got the sort of style wheels, which is actually pretty interesting, and all that. And you can see you got some more of the some grey and a bit of some al that aluminium finish. You can see the sides here got some nice aluminium finish there too, and you can see the door handles also have some more of the aluminium finish and on the sides there too. I'll try and step over the sides here so you can get a better look at the side profile of the car. A little bit hard with the limited space I have. A glimpse of the interior before I continue on, so you can see. Slightly looks a little bit different than the previous one. You can see some more pinot black trim. In terms of the rear end, it looks kind of similar to the previous one. Just a slight difference of the LEDs. So to me, they look a bit more darker and this is a bit more of a darker finish. That's the only thing I noticed. And you can see this one has the Hyundai's full LED system. And you can see the Palisade logo in the center there, which is quite nice. You can see you got full size spare tire, which is nice, and you can also see you got this really niche. You got fully independent rear suspension also. That was pretty cool. You can see also you got some more of that finish over here too, which is also pretty nice. And yeah, you can see a rear camera there also. Nice detail, and you can see they've actually mounted the reversing camera, reversing lights. Oh, oh, sorry, about the wrong lens right over there too, which I was actually, or oh, additional lights there, I'm not really too sure. And it looks like you got an extra braking light. Got two actual exhausts there, which is nice. Just looks pretty premium, and you can see that got the sort of nice textured finish there too, which I thought looked pretty cool too. Power target, so I press that. Opens nicely. And while we're here, I thought I'd just show you the key fob. So here's a standard key fob, looks pretty cool. And you got this really cool feature where if you look a little bit closely, if I press this button, it actually can inch forward and inch backwards. So let's say you're in a parking slot 
just to show you like that the car can actually cut inch forward without you getting into the car so if you're stuck between like no space you know sometimes when people park too close they don't park properly you know that's really useful so you can press that and the car can inch forward start the car and inch forward and inch backwards too so i thought that's pretty cool so you can see if i press this button here actually it will raise these seats down which i'm not going to do because it's hard to put back up with um one-handed with the camera usage so they can put the actual seats down here you can see over here if i while we're here we'll just put this you got some you got your a car cover your toolkit and yeah it's best tires underneath so if i just lift this here unlock that this can go down like so and you pull this one too and this can also come down nicely and you can see you got all that space so you can see when i press that button that that seat falls down you can see you got lots of lots lots of um boot space so you won't be disappointed which i thought was pretty cool you can see you got 12 volt power outlet there also nice and some additional extra hooks and stuff like that you can also see you got some cup holders there which is handy if you want to you know put some drinks and stuff like that there and these come up manually hold in place it's a bit hard because they're meant to yeah they will hold in place like that and yeah and you still have adequate boot space so you can see you can still put a fair amount of stuff here even with the extra seats also while we're here i thought i'd show you got this new nice suede headliner and the toll gate is electric and you can close it electronically too and this should close electronically like that look at that And it close, has that soft close feature, so it closes nice and shut. Shuts nicely as well. Drink some water. So here's the interior of the Palisade. Got some nice running boards here with the Palisade logo. And really nice source, soft seats. Cars more in the shade than the other one, and you can see the seat adjuster as well. So, while we're here, if I turn this on, oh, whoops, I'm one more turning down. I'm trying, I'm turning down the volume just in case, and I'm turning on the air conditioning. How embarrassing! Let's turn it off for a moment. So, you can see towards the front, you got your gauges, which is very similar, very similar for most of the other models. Rev, your speedometer left. Rev count to the right and all your other additional information there. Also pretty cool. Which so looks pretty cool. You can see you've got this two-tone style leather. This is kind of very similar to what you get on these high-end cars like the Range Rovers and stuff. You can see it's split over over here, which is quite nice. Um, we've got this sort of black and what was it more like a navy blue, I would say. Very, very faint navy blue and a grey finish. Unless it's black and grey and I'm colorblind. So, yeah, which I thought was pretty nice. So you can see you got some power shifters here, which is nice. Minus plus, feels very premium. You can see all your buttons here feel pretty good as well. Um, your forward radar collision sensor, you can adjust the distance on it. Got this sort of nice dual effect on the indicators here, wiper controls here. And you can see your headlight control and indicator controls to the right, which is um, nice. I actually thought it will pull on the left side because this is built in America, so they swap them around. So I thought it's quite nice. Normally when they build things in another country, they don't do that. So yeah. So you can see this nice sort of wave sort of self string wall, which I don't think they had in the previous one. So I think that looks a little bit different than I recall. Um, you can see all these soft touch materials here feel really nice. And some nice storage here, also pretty good too. While we're here, I think we'll just turn on the... You know, let's open this window. No, it's going to keep doing that. So you can see you've got your head unit here, which is actually pretty nice because I'm just scared the camera will overheat again. So I click home, you can see you've got your navigation, uh, your rear climate, front climate, uh, where are you? Radio. So you can see you've got the radio system, sounds pretty good. I'll switch to a wide angle lens, might be better. So it sounds pretty clear, you can see for yourself. Um, you've got your climate, which I'll just turn back on. And you can just have a look at that, so I'll just show you that there. So you can see the the lowest temperature appears to be, oh, I've got a sink. 
17 degrees and the highest temperature appears to be 26 point anyway, 27 so yeah so you can see it's actually quite 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 you can see all your different like modes and stuff like that you can see it's pretty good stuff like that which is nice and you can see that's your you can adjust it from here too from the screen which is nice and you know you can even turn the rear climate you know you can just turn the rear you have a different set of buttons for that also and yeah, you can turn that on and you can hear it probably golf there it's pretty nice and different zones and all that very cool stuff and you can see you got navigation and stuff like that so this charge will turn off soon okay I get the idea so I think if the navigation will turn off so I think we'll just leave it like that for now anyway so we'll just turn this off because you got a general idea of that so you can see you got these other sort of buttons here. Well, you could, I did mention the buttons feel pretty nice and premium. And you can see you got this drive, this driver selector here. And you can sit snowed or that can go off road. Oh, actually, I actually forgot. While we're here, I'll show you the surrounding cameras. So you got the cameras there. You can change the views. Really like that side by side 360 this is great for like you know when you want to check your surroundings you got something i remember one time one actually ran over a rake when she was reversing the car so that's pretty funny so and she punked the tire so this will be very useful and you can actually look around like that which i thought was pretty neat and stuff like that so i thought it's pretty cool so you can see heated seats heated seats heated steering wheel I press this up you can see you've got some cup holders so i press that got two then go here and over here and then you can see you can nicely put them away you can see also you got wireless charging and a usb type a port why don't they just switch to usb type c far out like you know it's getting getting old so you can see you got um usb type a ports which is also yeah still all right and you can see this leather leather wrapped armrest got some, some cigarette lighter a 12 volt power outlet and a usb one usb type c port bruh <laughs> so yeah so you can see you got one of those as well well, here I'll show you the seats here. You can see the seats are pretty nice and premium. They look pretty good. And you can see they're also perforated there also. I might just open it because I think the cam camera's overheating. Give me one second. Okay, there you go. So you can see also you've got the perforated seats here, which is actually pretty nice. You can see they look pretty good. And you can see you've got this nice little pattern there inside the head into the center of the seat there too, which I thought was pretty good too. Well, we're here, I'll show you this one. You can see you got this really nice sort of um, vanity mirror as well, also there, which is also nice. And you can see also, I think right from here, you got a... You can close the center, the sunroof there, which is nice. And you have a forward sunroof here. Come on. And the forward on the front some roof there too also pretty useful because you got emergency sos as well which is also useful when you get an accident you can quickly press that button post to call in the police or whatever because you know when you get an accident you don't really have time and you can see this is actually got some nice suede and stuff like that there too didn't get to see that movie last time so i'll show you there so I'll just show you the rear seats. Over here, I'll put this actually to the rear because then we can have a look at this. So I did mention the rear seats. That rear seat can fold down. I'll have a look. You can see these are more the sort of the captain's chairs you get, and you can see these push down nicely like that. So, which is also pretty cool. You can actually press this button and actually slides the whole seat forward, just nicely it makes it easy to get in. So you can see you've got some storage here. We'll just test it out so you can fit some storage here nicely on the sides here also pretty good and it does fit in the front as well which i think i i think i already showed that you can also see you've got this little soft touch here and you can put some shades here which is nice and yeah actually really cool stuff here and you got easy access to the rear as well which i will show you just so i can so you can actually walk to this middle over here 
and you've got some storage to keep your uh, some keep kept a little pendant. Um, if you can see, you could put some drinks here, which fits here nicely. And you can see, you've got some nice USB Type C ports. There's some good ventilation here too. I mean, so good good um windows here, so you can see all around pretty easily, which I thought was pretty nice. And um, yeah, and you can see you got some additional vents here, which is actually pretty good as well, which I thought was um nice that they did that. And you can see with the you can see if the seat was up, you can see I still got room. I'm five foot five. I can fit here pretty well. So, and these seats are not actually uncomfortable. They're actually quite soft and plush, and they're not like they haven't cheaped out on the seat. So you can see actually pretty good. While we're here, I'll show you. I'll show you all the additional vents here. You could um you can see you got your air conditioning here, which is ducked under the seat and from the ceiling, so it's not too bad. And yeah, and I'll just show you the dashboard from the rear seat. So I can actually fit here very comfortably too, you can see. And you got some more additional type C ports here and here, which is actually nice. And that nice suede here. To the seats, a bit more detail. Quickly show you the engine bay before I cook my camera. Now, I don't know if this is Spring Assistance, but I hope it is. So here's the engine bay. Show you here. You can see you got just your battery there and all that. So 2.2 liter diesel, in case you're wondering. In terms of power wise, I'll leave that in the motion graphics. Camera's overheating again, great. Just perfect. The video quickly. So it cooks. I hope you enjoyed this video. This car is for sale at French Girl Hyundai. I'll leave the details in the description below. Um, sorry if I kind of wrapped it a bit quick because the camera's overheating and it's going to shut off. So it's very hot today. Hope you enjoyed this video and this car is for sale at French Girl Hyundai. And thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.